In this video, I shall be showing you how to make a coloring game in PowerPoint. So hit the like button, subscribe button and we shall get started. Welcome back to pptvba.com for all things PowerPoint. So I shall start making my canvas over here. So choose a rectangle shape, draw it over here. Let us change the color to brown. So under shape fill, I'm changing the color to brown and I'm removing the outline. Now press control on your keyboard and we can duplicate a shape. This is a very quick trick. Now hold shift on your keyboard and rotate this. So it will rotate only in 15 degrees. Now just place it over here. Now again press control on your keyboard and duplicate this. And in this new duplicated shape, go to rotate and flip it horizontally and then place it over here. Perfect. Now choose a rounded rectangle tool, which is this and draw this over here and change the color to white and you can have a brown outline. You can increase the width of the outline. And this is our canvas. Perfect. We can right click and we can also group these. So we can move this however we want. Now we need to make our color palette. So in Google images, I found this color palette by searching artist painting palette. So I'm copying this shape. I'm going to my PowerPoint. I'm pasting the shape and we have this background. To remove the background, select the shape, go to format and click on remove background and click on mark alias to keep and let me just choose the outline. Perfect. Let me resize it and place it over here. Now we need to start making shapes to cover these images. So I'll take a circle, I'll draw it over here and this circle has to be red color. Click on shape fill. Click on eyedropper and we can just choose this color. Under shape outline, we can remove the outline and we can place it over here. Now press control on your keyboard and duplicate the shape. In shape fill, click on eyedropper and choose the orange color. So we have two colors so far. Now it is time to draw the picture that we shall be coloring into. In Google again, I found this sketch of a pig. We can recreate this. Let me copy this, paste it in PowerPoint and using this as my reference, I can start drawing it over here. So let me draw a circle first. Next I have to draw one more circle. Okay. And I need to draw two ovals. So let me just draw it over here. Place it over here. Press control on my keyboard and duplicate it. So again click on the circle and draw it over here. Press control on your keyboard and drag the duplicated shape. Now we need this for the body. How will we do that? I'm going to take a circle. I'm going to draw it over here. Okay. Now I'm going to take a rectangle tool. I'm going to place it over here and we have new features in PowerPoint. So I can click this plus control on my keyboard, click on the rectangle, go to merge shapes. And as you can see, I have the option for intersect or subtract. So I'll press on subtract and I have the body ready. Now we need to make the ears. So I'll just duplicate this by pressing control on my keyboard, reduce the size change the direction and place it over here. Again, press control on your keyboard and duplicate the shape, place it over here. And now we need to make the leg. So that is pretty basic. Draw the leg over here, duplicate it. Now draw the feet of the peg and duplicate it. <laughs> so here's our peg. I can delete this now. So select all these shapes 
and change the shape fill to white, shape outline to black and we can increase the weight of the outline. We can also reduce the size of these ovals and perfect we are good to go and we can start painting this. So how do we make this happen? How do we make it interactive? Go to your developer tab. If that is not enabled, right click over here, click on customize the ribbon and check mark your developer tab. Now within your developer tab, go to macros and let us type a macro called choose color and click on create. About this, we are going to make a variable called RGB as a variant. This is just a data type, do not worry about it. You can copy paste the code from my website if you want to. So in choose color, we have a parameter called OSH as shape. So this will make us identify what shape was clicked. So if I'm clicking on the red shape, it will understand that I'm clicking on the red shape. So the RGB is going to be equal to the clicked shapes color. So if I click on red, it's going to be red color. If I click on orange, it has to be the orange color. Now, now we have chosen the color. We need to put the color over here. So I make one more subroutine called paint color. Have OSH as shape. In this case, if I click on the face of the pig, it will identify that the face of the pig is being clicked on. So now the shape of the pig will be equal to RGB. What is RGB? RGB is equal to the color that was picked from this palette. So I hope this made sense. Now we can close our code. Now select this red color shape, go to insert, action, run a macro and choose color. Click on the all in shape, action, run a macro, choose color. Now hold control on your keyboard, duplicate this, go to format, shape fill, eyedropper and click on yellow. Similarly, do this for all the different shapes. We have to choose green color now. Duplicate it. And now blue color. Duplicate this. And now purple. Duplicate this. We have black. And finally, duplicate this. And we have white color. And all of these is going to have the choose color macro. Now let us change the paint blush color on the basis of what was clicked. So go to home, choose an oval and draw it over here. We shall rotate it and place it over here. Let me zoom here, click on edit shape, edit points and we can transform this. So this is our new paint blush. We can put shape outline as black, shape fill as white. Now click on this shape, go to format, click on selection pane and you shall see that oval 26 here is highlighted for me. This will be some other name for you. So select the shape, double click on the highlighted shape name and we are going to change the name of the shape to blush. Perfect. Go back to your developer tab, click on view code. And once we are choosing a color, the color of this blush should also change. So active presentation dot slides one because we are in slide number one. Shapes, what is the shape of the name? Blush. Fill dot four color dot RGB equal to RGB. So if I click on any one of these colors, the blush color will also change. We can go to slideshow mode, click on it and as you can see, the color is changing. Now we can close the VBA panel, click on the shapes of the peg, go to insert, action, run macro and in this case it will be paint color. Just choose that for all 
these different shapes one by one. Just make sure that all the shapes of the pig has the macro paint color. Let me fast forward my video and until then if you haven't already click on the like and subscribe button it helps me boost the video and it tells the YouTube algorithm that this video is actually somewhat substantial. <laughs> I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Alright, now it is time to check our game. Let me go to slideshow mood, click on yellow and that will be the color of the peg. Let me choose red and that will be the body of the shape. Let me choose blue and that will be its leg. For the sake of making one more picture, I can just duplicate this slide, delete this obnoxious peg and we can make a beautiful butterfly. Let me make the... So I'm drawing a butterfly over here. I can make an oval over here and in this oval click on edit shape click on edit points and just make the wings of the butterfly doesn't this look amazing hold this press control on your keyboard rotate this and flip it horizontally and place it over here now we can make some designs on it we can make a circle over here a small circle over here we can add some triangles. Select all these three shapes that we just made. Hold control on your keyboard. Drag it. So we have duplicated it now. And now just place it on the butterfly. Perfect. And as I said earlier, click on the shapes of the butterfly and add the macro paint color. So this thing paint color and this gets very tedious so what I do is I already have this action button on my toolbar to do that you can click on this customize quick access toolbar click on more commands and here go to insert and you can see the action setting just bring it over here I already have it so I'll just click on ok so now if I click on the alt key you can see that the number 3 comes up for me. So I can just click on any shape, click on Alt 3 and I can choose the macro of the shape. This saves me way too much time and it is super easy to use and it allows me to be faster. And yeah, that is it. Now I go to slideshow mode, I click on a color and I can put that color on my butterfly. But now you might be seeing that the paint blush doesn't change. Let us fix that. Go to your developer tab, click on view code and here you can see that I have put slides 1. But I do not want it to be only slide 1. I want it to be any slide that is currently being shown in slideshow mode. To do that, I am going to change this to active presentation dot slideshow window dot view dot slide. Now if I close my code, I go to slideshow mode and I click you can see that the color is changing here and after you have colored this if you want to reset just select all these shapes go to shape fill and make it white perfect now while you're saving this powerpoint remember one thing very carefully that you need to save this as a powerpoint macro enabled presentation do not save it as a powerpoint presentation so this was a fun game. I hope you liked this tutorial. Leave your questions down in the comment section. I'd love to help you out. And my website is pptvb.com and you can search for more amazing, amazing PowerPoint tutorials. Here's a playlist. Thank you so much. Have a great day.